have already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. <clears throat> and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So here is the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the star and it's with the queen of swords. Now the star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired and more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You also feel confident that your needs, they're being met, whether it's emotional, whether it's financial, or both, they're being met. Just know nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. Also, this can be a spiritual card, so you could find yourself at least for a while feeling at one with all of creation. It's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. Now, it's with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords can point to a woman in your life. This is a woman who's not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes. And if this is not a person, it can point to the need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So you may need to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts they're on point. They're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want. What you need. Now you just have to go after it. This queen has a very, very forceful energy. And a lot of people find it abrasive. So, Aries, recent past energy between you and a person star clarified by this queen of swords the message that I'm getting is that for some of you you wanted to feel more hopeful about the connection because the star card can be about rejuvenation hopeful it can be about having faith it can be about renewal it can be about inner clarity yeah, so you, you wanted to bring this back into the connection. For some of you, 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 the hope was dwindling. So you wanted rejuvenation. You wanted the connection to be rejuvenated. Or you wanted your feelings to be rejuvenated about your person. But you realized it was going to probably take force. You, you had to pull out a side of you that that you really didn't want to. Because a lot of you are not like this Queen of Swords. So, some of you realize that you are probably going to have to be forceful towards your person. And put your foot down. Because you, you wanted the connection to feel good again. You wanted any grief of the past that you had with this person to be released. But it required work. Yeah, you knew it was going to take work and probably a lot of force. Because maybe a person was, maybe you felt like they were holding back. So you, you realize you, you're going to have to pin them down or t tie a person down and force them to, to open up. That could be it. Something like that. So that is... That's the recent past energy. Let's move on over. Why don't we take a look and see what's coming for the two of you. Okay, so we get the moon, and it's with the Queen of Cups. Now, the moon card, you could definitely feel more psychic and intuitive than usual. So it's important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. 
also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when you get the moon card in a reading, all is not what it seems. So if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. You have to go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So it's about trying to stay patient also. Now it's with the Queen of Cups, which can indicate a woman who will be very helpful to you. The queen reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work, and that's even possible, even if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. So things are probably better in your working world when you get the queen of cups in your reading than you're realizing, or just better in your world, because whenever you see the queen of cups, Or the King of Cups in a reading, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. It's all about love, kindness, compassion. This Queen of Cups is a very nurturing, healing, supportive energy. And what's in the cup? Love. L O V E. So coming up, Aries, the moon. Clarified by Queen of Cups. Yeah, so. Aries, you got a lot of emotions. For your person with the Queen of Cups showing here. You, you. Yeah, I want to say you, you really love your person. Or you, you want to offer them love or you want to keep the love going. Yeah, you got a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings for your person. But you, with the moon card here, you could feel like they're holding back. You could feel like, you could start to feel like something is hidden. And it's making you not trust them. Yeah, you might, for some of you, you might start to feel like there's deception. Or that your person is not saying how they truly feel. So, yeah, that's what's coming up. But let's see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got the Fool No, we got the Death card for the challenge. And it's with the Seven of Swords. Now, keep in mind. Whenever you get the Death card in a reading, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. And I say this because we're all creatures with free will. And such things are not written in stone. This death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation. It's likely to be both internally and externally. In your life, it could be some situations, things, and people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you and seem in quite the same way as they once were. Keep in mind the transition can be difficult for some people. But the change is nearly always needed. Now, it's with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords can be about someone be behaving with less than ethical intentions. So, if you, f if you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who is giving you cause for concern, then you just might want to resist the impulse. And I say this because we all know everyone deserves privacy. 
So your challenge, Aries, the death card, clarified by Seven of Swords. Yeah, so the death card, the message that I'm getting is that Like I said, you got love for your person, but you just feel like there's there could be some deception or just too many secrets. And it, it looks like the challenge with the death card here, you might be coming to your own conclusion and you're losing interest. Yeah. You're losing interest. A lot of you are coming to a conclusion about things or the situation or about the connection. For some of you, you're going to start to watch your person or maybe even stalk them, but you're trying to get some inner clarity because you just feel like, for some of you, you just feel like something's going on. And you're not getting it, your person, you're not opening up. Or you're not finding out what you feel like, like you need to find out. So a lot of you are going to start to stalk your person. Now stalking could be anything from maybe checking their phone while they're not aware of it. Driving past their job. Checking their social media accounts to see if they're paired up with anyone else or just, you know what I mean, just start doing things to see what you can find out. Because it looks like you, you might, you starting to lose interest. Yeah, you're not getting the clarity that you need, the moon card. Like I said, it can be about feeling too much is hidden and you can feel like there's too many secrets or your person is being deceptive. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is going to be. So we got this Eight of Wands and so the full card. Now the Eight of Wands, it's showing that there could be a lot of things up in the air. You may start to feel frustrated tired of waiting but this card is actually an indicator to be patient a while longer you've already done all that you can do now decisions has to be made by other people so when this card appears nothing seems to be moving ahead but don't try to force things because it could backfire on you just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. And wait. And it's just playing the waiting game. Yeah. So it's with the full card. Now the full card can be an indicator of newness in one form or another. It in many ways, it does indicate the purity and the open-hearted energy and innocence of a child. We all know that children, they're trusting, and trust actually forms the basis of meaning for this card. Now, this card is considered to be a positive card, but there could be one thing it's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. As you can see in the picture, he's not. Yeah, the food card is below the word outcome. He's not looking where he's going. So trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown is one thing. But doing so without any thought whatsoever can be a big mistake. That's just to explain the picture. Yeah. But this food card is, is like I said, it's a, it can be a positive card. It's, it's about newness, ready to take a leap. Just jumping right on in there. Sounds good. I'm going for it without a, without any second guessing. That's the full card. 
The fool can also be a risk taker. Somebody who will run off, maybe even a traveler. But your outcome, Pisces, I'm sorry, I just finished Pisces. I get the, the signs twisted sometimes when I read, but this is an Aries reading. So don't, don't second guess it. It's Aries reading. Okay, so your outcome, Aries, Eight of Wands, clarified by the Fool. So yeah, Eight of Wands is, is good for this reading because it's showing that there's a lot of fast communication coming in. You and your person could be talking a lot. They see you're losing interest. They probably know what you're doing behind their back. A lot of watching. They know, they know that you're starting to feel like something's not right. So a lot of communication is coming in from your person. It's gonna be a, they want to talk to you. There's gonna be a lot of back and forth communication. And if your person is long distance, they're coming in. You see that bird on the eight of wands, the card above the word outcome. That bird is flying in. Your person is coming in if they're long distance. They want to get things right. They want to talk. They want to finally s fix whatever is wrong by communication, opening up their mouth. Maybe they realize they've been too quiet. And they see it's causing a problem. So like I said, a lot of communication is here. They want to talk. Finally, you're going to get your person to open up for a lot of you. And this is good because it's making you feel, it's making you feel like you can, you can jump right back into this connection and, and be open and feel like an open hearted child again. Yeah. Cause the fool card, like I said, it's about open hearted energy, the innocence of a child. You can you can trust you can you're gonna start to feel like you can trust what's you can trust the connection again, trust the person again, and look at you you're ready to just dive right on in there. You finally got some inner clarity. You needed that communication. It looks like it's coming in, Aries. For a lot of you, it's coming in. And it's gonna make everything better. So that's your reading, Aries. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. Oh, I'm getting my, getting my words twisted. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, there's also a link below for the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season hanging there. It's going to pass and we're all going to get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Aries reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member. Maybe even one of your co-workers. Maybe, yeah, maybe you're dealing with a co-worker. Or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because like I said, these are general readings. Yes, they are. And they're not personal readings. So 
Just take it for however it's in fits your situation. <laughs> so Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas. I'm wishing you well and I'm wishing all of you happy holidays. So I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.